Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Umar with you. Uh, hope you are all doing great. And in terms of OTD, yeah, I think you are uh, doing great. Uh, we are not doing great. In fact, for the last three months, let me be very outright. For the last three months, we have not made a single rupees. The strategies which used to make money uh, before or in the previous uh, financial year is not making money nowadays. Last uh, three months, we are struggling. But I wouldn't say we are in loss, we are in cost to cost. So for the last three months, if you see, I have posted the videos of our p &L on a monthly basis. And if you see that there, uh, we have not performed at all. And you know what is the reason? Full of manipulation. And today also there was manipulation, lots of manipulation. So if you see the screen, you can understand what is happening in terms of market. And this candle, right? This uh, which candle? Around a 240, uh, 240 candle, right? Yeah, sorry. Uh, 240 candle. Uh, yeah, 240 candle. If you see this uh, 240 candle, uh, it moved from around... <coughs> Uh, many people believed that uh, 24,900 would be a very very strong uh, support and it was decisively taken and after a few minutes look at this candle uh, which is around a 250 candle so high was open was around 24,900 uh, high was around 25,038 low was around 24,800 uh, and close was around 24,916 now this is not a big move but what happens on an expiry day when the market makes uh, spikes or injections so this is called injection uh, injections like this uh, you don't have gamma right you sorry you don't have premium at all so uh, in spite of having no premiums and market moving like hell uh, what happens is uh, the options which we sold for around 10 rupees or maybe 15 rupees uh, and i will tell you on a expiry day trade even at the money option so this is happening at around 240 right 240 if you go and see if you are an option trader you can observe that there will literally be no uh, premiums at all maybe you would have sold for 10 rupees hypothetically i'm speaking hypothetically if you have sold for 10 rupees or 15 rupees the so the options which you have sold for 10 rupees or 15 rupees would have gone to around how much 150 or 130 rupees so you are maximizing your losses are going to be maybe 5x or 10x right so this is the problem so people say lots of things it is because of prop desk because it is of uh institutions buying uh, manipulating they are manipulating um, so that's a brief topic we don't have to talk about that uh, or we will talk about that in a separate video but this uh, in this video i will say what we have done so this is what uh, this is how our position is looking like we are in a loss of around 51000 so if you see here we are in a loss of around 51000 right 51778 in fact this is the third month we are uh, cost to cost so uh, if you go and see our telegram channel you can understand if you are not in our telegram channel i will leave the link somewhere on the uh, higher side so that you can uh, join our telegram channel so what uh, uh, we are in a loss of around 1.2 percent uh, this month so uh, around cost to cost i would say right so 1.2 percent is not a big deal uh, of course, uh, there are people who have made more than 20 or 25% uh, till now and they are, there are people who have made huge losses. So I'm not going into that. But what I believe is that uh, market should stabilize and uh, these kind of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, SEBI instead of uh, restricting the retailers, you should look into this kind of institution. Now, if you are following the media or if you are following the social media, you might know what is happening in terms of SEBI or in terms of uh, FIIs, right? Now, Hindenburg came out with an issue that uh, chairman of SEBI uh, there is some conspiracy theory uh, uh, when it comes to SEBI chairman. Now, see how they are playing, right? So, SEBI chairman comes out and uh, she says that they are going to restrict retailers coming into option selling. They are going to increase the margin. They are going to cut down the strikes. They are going to make the strikes very far away strikes. So, lots of things are coming. So, after uh, lots of things she has told, after what she has told, uh, you can see the news that uh, 
this uh, people are uh, hindenburg is uh, releasing a uh, releasing a press release or uh, tweeting a uh, post that uh, she is under some conspiracy theory so, so she is getting uh, bribes or she is getting salary from icici uh, singapore so on and so forth she is having some shell companies in uh, uh, tax free heavens so on and so forth so this is how politics they are playing now i will ask you a question what will happen if there are no retailers if you are not having people to put uh, bring in money so retailers are bringing in money you want retailers money you are manipulating the market you are taking the market as you wish as you as you want you are taking 100 100 200 points up and down uh, all stop losses there is no respect for stop losses stop losses are jumping there is no respect for open interest uh, today morning if you see i saw there was huge uh, huge quantity huge quantity maybe 30 or 40 million uh, open interest open interest in uh, around uh, 24900 this 2 uh, 240 or 210 candle took away all the open interest right so people whoever had return put options at 24,900 was uh, would have made losses. So if you are in Twitter, you know you uh, many people have made losses. Even huge, huge uh, traders, big uh, popular traders, have made losses uh, today. So I'm not uh, going to blame the market. Markets are market, uh, whether it is U.S. market or uh, whether it is uh, Asia Pacific or European market market is going to be market but i would say uh, this indian market is very very tough to trade and you we need lots of caliber to make money in this market right as i told you we have never made money for the last three months it is uh, getting very hard in fact the last uh, Last month we made a loss of around 1 lakh, now we are sitting in a loss of around 75, uh, so uh, this is excluding the charges, so if you include the charges uh, we might have made uh, more uh, losses, right? So uh, we will see how uh, we can uh, play around and we can see how we are uh, thinking of uh, uh, you know uh, changing our strategies how we can profit from this kind of uh, volatile moves mad moves right uh, manipulation so this is our bread and butter there is no way we can uh, see i see uh, i cannot go go back and start from the scratch so we will have to live with this right we cannot shut the shop because we are continuously making losses uh, last uh, one year uh, last financial year if you see if, uh, we have never made a loss uh, uh, for a single month so continuously we were making good profit so at that time we were not complaining now when the market is moving when the markets uh, move uh, zigzag makes two way three way move we are complaining means that is not fair and that is not a good thing to do so that's what i think uh, we'll see how uh, things work out out. I will try to post a daily video on a daily basis. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow is Bank Nifty. Maybe tomorrow morning also uh, I will try to post a video. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you subscribe this channel. Uh, take care. Bye.